ChatGPT may be free for you, but it doesn't come cheap for European power grids. Here are three things you need to know about your artificial intelligence use. First of all, there can be no AI without the infrastructure that enables it to operate, data centers. These huge buildings filled with servers that never switch off are popping up all across Europe, from Ireland to Germany to France, and increasingly Northern European countries like Finland. That's because they present the perfect conditions to build this kind of infrastructure. There's a lot of space, it's sparsely inhabited, and it's cold. Which means data centers don't need to install cooling mechanisms. Running data center servers non-stop creates a lot of heat. Kind of like when you're using a laptop and too many programs are open and it just overheats. But a lot more. So much more that you could heat an entire city with it. That's exactly what is going to happen in Espo, a city near Helsinki in Finland, where Microsoft is building a whole campus of data centers. The plan is to redirect excess heat from data centers to 250,000 homes. Pretty crazy, right? Unfortunately, this system cannot be replicated everywhere. And many countries do not have the grid power required to sustain the massive development of data centers. That's what happened in Ireland, for example, where in 2023, data centers used as much energy in a year as all urban households in the country. The strain on the grid was such that they decided to place a temporary moratorium on constructing new data centers in the Greater Dublin area. And Ireland isn't the only country that should be worried. The International Energy Agency estimates that in the next five years, data center energy consumption will double or even quadruple in the case of AI-optimized data centers. So, do we have enough energy for the AI revolution or is the cost just too steep? Find out in our latest YouTube video.